So today I wanna to talk about the right way to make girls laugh, to make them have fun, to break them open when you walk up. The, the way to really pull them in and polarize them so they really wanna to get to know you better. Yep. It's what we call attraction and it's done through the proper application of creating fun with tension. It is a blast and it makes every part of your life fun. We've been doing a lot of work with this this last few weeks because we have a week long going on. Anthony's one of my coaches. Um, Anthony, check out, definitely check out his YouTube channel. Uh, Anthony, uh, the Fearless Man, Anthony. Is that the Fearless correct? Man, Anthony. The Fearless Man, Anthony. Definitely check it all out. Right. Subscribe. There'll be a link somewhere in here. So let's get started. You guys have all heard me say that tension is a masculine man's ability to show a woman you can handle the shit when the shit's a fan, and that makes her really happy. When you're first walking up, it's all about fun. Tension is about your ability to bring fun to the environment, to make her laugh, to make her giggle, and you got to have grounded tension. And so the last week, yes, I've been sir. taking. Anthony and we've been doing tension drill after tension drill around humor, around fun, around teasing, around bantering, and then we're doing it with our week-long clients right now. Day one with the week-long clients, and yep. uh, four instant dates today. They're killing they're, it today. They're killing it. And yep. so, what has this experience been like for you, Anthony? Uh, man, the bantering experience, man. Uh, personally, nerve-wracking <laughs> um, because I'm more introverted, but kind of makes you a lot more extroverted and what i notice is that uh once you're practicing banter or you know coming at your partner or whatever it is you're practicing that stuff all of a sudden your energy starts to get bigger you uh you start to want to talk to more people you start to be uh energy just starts to expand you see more people looking at you wanting to talk to you too it's really interesting so um yeah interesting experience because i don't like i didn't like it necessarily at first that's probably the one thing i had the most problem the problem with because i got rapport now yeah. I can be nice, and sweet, and all that well, stuff. This dude can walk comes... up, create a bubble, connect, and drop yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to poking and pushing and potentially pissing people off, oh my god, I had a story about that. But does it piss people off? No, it actually makes them smile. Like the first initial thing you'll get is a smile or a laugh. Yeah. And then it's easier to go into. Is it, a is it counterintuitive when it happens? Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, especially if you're a nice guy. Yeah. So you <laughs> walk up and you start teasing a girl. You start giving her shit. You start yeah. playing with her, and she giggles and laughs. She might give you shit back, but then she what? She leans in. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, they do this thing where they'll laugh and they'll giggle and like maybe they'll walk, they'll, they're still kind of walking away, but then they're still kind of energetically still there. Yeah. And all you really got to do is like close that gap and just keep it going. It's, it's super simple. Yeah, there's something that I've been saying a lot lately is that your ability to banter, tease, and play with tension is equal to a woman's ability to draw you in with like a sexy outfit, wiggling her ass, a little yep. reveal. Like the way she pulls you in with her looks, your ability to play with tension, step in the tension, use your eye contact, your vocal tone to create tension, has yep. the same effect on them. If you notice that to be true. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because that's, that's what gets them pulled in. Yeah. As soon as they start smiling and a little laughing, it's like they relax and that whole wall is just, you know, so I can see how it's attractive. It's super attractive. Yeah. So what yeah. happened? The we had been practicing it the other night. We had practiced me, uh, Anthony, and Jonathan. Hey, say hi, Jonathan. We had practiced for um, a while. We sat and had some dinner, and we were just running drills back and forth. Yeah. And uh, I got I got like a whole bunch of drills, and we're doing it with the week long clients right now. That's why they're just killing it already day one. Um, and so we were um, we were doing these drills back and forth for quite a while. Yeah. And then we went to the bungalow, sat down, and what what started to happen? So we got we start bantering, we start pushing, we start getting open and loose, and uh, I swear to God, people just start coming, hanging out, sitting around us, talking to us, and all we were doing, we're just sitting there. How many girls, women, walked by and smiled at us? Yeah, so, yeah at least three or four easily. And then two, uh, of, them, two of them came to sit, to sit down yeah, with us. And all we said as they walked by was, hey, come join us. And they right over and joined us, right? Yeah, I think we even said it less was, than that. Was, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jonathan, what, what's your memory of this? Give, give your authentic, honest memory of what happened. So my honest memory is people are just gravitating to us for no reason. Yeah. Just enjoying there, we're talking to each other, and then people are kind of wanting to join the conversation. Yep. And out of nowhere, they're just looking at us. You know when you see a hot girl and you're like, like she's hot, and you 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 lean in your energy. That's how beat. That's how it felt. I felt like a hot girl. Like people nice. want to talk to me. Such a sexy bastard. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it just comes because it's like your upper body is like a light bulb, and when it's actually on, sometimes you're trying to turn it on through through like meditation and stuff, and that doesn't always do it. But you do these practices, and it starts to kick up, and you just feel it because. You can really know when it's working by how people are responding to you. You're free from outcome, or you open, yeah. then your micro expression, your energy starts to 
get bigger, and then it becomes so much easier to start conversation. Yeah, it's almost like it breaks your shell, especially yeah. if you're a shy person, a nice guy, anything like that. It was just open you up. You know, you're, you're pushing shit back and forth between you and your friend, and it's just like you light up. Now, now, this is really important. Can you talk? Can you talk about what it took? Because it didn't develop the first day. Nah. How long did it take? Of consistent work. How long for the average person or for you? You can share about your experience. Does it take? What was the first day like? Second day? What is it like as it starts to kick up and, and the energy starts to take off from doing the practices? Yeah, I mean, for me, it literally took what four four days. Yeah. First day we were uh, we were doing it on a Zoom call and it was very nerve wracking. It was like pulling teeth. Oh yeah. Um, to, come up, to, come, to come up with ideas. Yeah, or, yeah, everything you said, you just laugh, 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 release yeah, tension, tension, there's tension all through your face. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that that was that. The second day was when we went out to, uh, actually maybe three days. The second day was when we went out to the bungalow to actually try it in person yeah. out, out in the field. And uh, even then it was going really well for me. But then when I hit a, I had a block of being like, okay, you know, I can see where I freeze up when it comes to poking at people and why I don't like to do it, especially with women I don't know and strangers because I feel bad. I feel like, oh, I'm being an asshole. They're not going to like me. Da, da, da. And I felt that come up the, th the second day and I was like, ah, fuck this exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was uh, yesterday when we were at the bungalow that it, it really was like, it got loose. Like whatever it was, that tightness, it just broke. Mm -hmm. And it was super easy. And even today with the guys out in the field, like watching these guys go out and get, get incidents, I was bantering with them. They were bantering. It was just, it was just fun and loose. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'll say in total maybe three days max yeah three days you know? now some people it takes to a week two weeks and and some people can do a practice like we did last night and then it'll turn on for that night and you got to turn it on again the next day because you're more introverted so you got to do a practice to turn it on but if you practice enough days in a row don't stop don't skip and only 10 minutes here 10 minutes there maybe 10 minutes three times a day 15 minutes three times a day it will start to kick on and become a part of you now there will be a time period before that happens it might be a week might be two weeks might be three weeks it might be a day i saw one guy years ago i'll never forget this guy i ran into him not too long ago at the bungalow about it it was not too long about a year ago and um that guy was horrible he was horrible banter and he was trying so hard and everything was bad and he went home and uh, took a nap went to sleep came back that the night that we did one day and that night he was a machine he was a holy terror in the bar and he was like this is so much fun because it doesn't just change the way you are with women it changes the way you are and really hear this it really listen it changes the way you are with yourself and life like when you start to get really comfortable with cutting through tension and saying what you feel and saying it with your heart blasted open and having a blast saying it you get a, you'll start to wake up in the morning with more passion you'll start to move through the day like fuck it i'm gonna go slay this right now you get this attitude to you of ballsiness that makes you feel more and more alive as a man yeah. do, you, do you have that experience yeah yeah for sure definitely woke me up and i noticed also that whenever any girl walk past or i'll be in the store target whatever I'm just more inclined to say something to him. It just comes out, doesn't it? Yeah, because there's always something funny or fun to say, or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they were in all black, say who, who died. Right? <laughs> I like it. it I, I don't. I needed to use that. I don't know why. That seems so obvious. I've never used that. The lady the other day in the grocery store. She was in a Ralph's, and she had this. Uh, she had a kind of a list of items to buy from the store. And I looked at it and I was like, "That's old school." <laughs> like, who, who does that anymore? And she start giggling. She's like, ah, I know, I know, I know. We got this on the refrigerator and people write down what we need and I just bring it and I do it. I was like, yeah, you don't see that shit anymore. You yeah, know? and then you can go be like, you don't have to explain to me. Yeah, basically. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so, um, and Jonathan, what's, what's your experience with that? Well, my experience with it has been interesting because I usually do a lot of pushes, but I close my heart. And so I come across as a dig, as a passive aggressive. And when you start to open the heart and do the pushes now, it feels a lot more like genuine. It has, um, there's a good vibration that you're creating, uh, like good vibe with the other person. And you know, like it just, it just feels good. Awesome. So uh, hopefully we're encouraging you guys to start really becoming proactive, playing with, having fun with attention. And I want you guys to practice it. I want you to get encouraged to go out and go for it. So I'm going to have to give you some more practices. But in the meantime, you can check out my recent video where I go through uh, the old pickup lines that I learned years ago. I got more I got more modernized practices, but they're old pickup lines where I played with them. Uh, it was a couple weeks back. So we'll put a link in this video to that. There's also a video that I did uh, where I demonstrate pushes and pulls. 
And then what I'm gonna do is in the next few weeks, I'm gonna do more of this. I'm gonna give you more exercises you can practice at home, but only if you commit to doing this several times a day for like three weeks, let's say, and then watch what happens in your life. You know, 10 minutes, three times a day for three weeks. And what I wanna hear from you is your commitment in the comments below. If you guys gonna do that, put your commitments in the comments below. And then I'm gonna give you some practices to do at home to really develop this out. Now, um, I also want you to uh, check out Anthony's channel. Yep. Anthony, the fearless man, got awesome content. His channel is growing really fast. We just launched it. And Anthony's a machine out there, by the way, guys. He's, he's an approach machine, so you guys gotta, uh, if you ever get out a chance to come out and meet Anthony, definitely do it. And Anthony, is there anything else you wanna say this week? Nah, just go out there and kill it and have fun, man. We want to see you guys transform, man. It's really fascinating to see how quickly it shifts you into a really enjoying an interaction. But not just that, yeah. but just the re how receptive women become because you're more fun, more yeah. open. And you're having, fun, you're having fun with yourself and you're yeah. inviting them into it. See, so many of you guys are trying to get into their reality. Stop that, man. Let all women go. Definitely check out that video, too. And just to learn to have fun for you and invite women into that reality. You know, the work we do here at Fearless isn't really about pickup. It's about you becoming a solid guy that has a good time and then invites people into it, brings the good time, spreads the good time, and then people get pulled into it. It's about being the purveyor of fun and life and energy and creating value. It's not trading value. It's creating and giving away value. And the people that want to join you will. And there will be a lot of people that will join you because yep. of that. Agreed. Anything you want to say, Jonathan, before we close out? Yeah, learn to have fun by yourself with yourself and that will naturally just uh, make people gravitate towards you and uh, yeah just everywhere you go just have a good time the more open you are the more opportunities are gonna present in your life to meet the women you want 100 percent. and by the way you can't fake that guys you got to learn this is why we do so much mental work you got to learn to develop that naturally the ability to stay in a, in a happy place and you're gonna be surprised the one last thing i want to add is that as you get better and better at the pushes and pulls and the teasing and the bantering, you, you actually do less of it. You start, a little look does a lot of work. A little a sentence has so much more tension in it and so much more play. Your presence starts to change and you don't have to banter as much. But in the beginning, you do it a lot to, to get that, that calibration down of what it's like to really play with tension. So with that said, uh, make sure to comment, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell notification. Uh, let Anthony know he's doing an awesome job. Subscribe to his channel and uh, there'll be a link somewhere in the video for that. And uh, with that said, I'll let you say it, Anthony. Only the confident really live. Awesome. Peace. Take care, guys.